House began in 1980, founded by a small group of women who were volunteers. They had been uh, answering a volunteer hotline and it was intended to serve a variety of different needs that women might have. Overwhelming majority of those calls that they got were from women who lived in abusive marriages and who were looking for a way out or for some help. And so the women started taking them home. Uh, start meeting these women and children at gas stations or supermarkets and bringing them home. And over time, of course, the founders' families started uh, wondering why all these people kept showing up in the family room. And the women identified that there was a need for um, some kind of a safe shelter for these women and children to have a safe place to go as an alternative to the abuse at home. Laurel House is a comprehensive agency that provides many services for those who have been the victim of domestic violence, including an emergency shelter and transitional housing, but also community educational programs, counseling programs, legal advocacy, and um, immediate response programs. Domestic violence is a very isolating kind of problem. You think you're the only person that's being who is in this kind of a situation. And Laurel House teaches you that, you know, A, that you're not alone, and B, that there is a way out. I think the thing that sets the Laurel House staff apart from uh, possibly other organizations that I've been involved with is, is the energy. I mean, it, it, it's tremendous. It's, uh, it's positive. It's upbeat. It's, uh, they're, they're coming in uh, to, neg to a negative situation. Uh, and they're, they're changing that and they're giving hope and, and light to, to people that need that at that particular time. Laurel House collaborates with almost all of the police departments in Montgomery County. If we didn't have Laurel House available to us, we would be very limited as to the resources we could offer our victims. As a law enforcement agency, we don't have that type of resource in-house. We have to utilize external services. Laurel House is available to us 24-7. They have people who we can contact in time of need that will respond out and be with our victims and help our victims through the process, not just the criminal aspects that they're going to have to deal with, but just the general support functions of, of keeping our victims uh, housed and supported. We come from many different backgrounds, a number of which have experienced domestic violence themselves, so they have real life experience with this, but um, we, we have different talents, we have different skills, we have different ways of expressing our passion, and we use these to bring together a comprehensive way of supporting victims and advocating for their welfare. We collaborate with many other social service programs, post-shelter housing programs, community resources for job training, job development, job placement for our transitional housing families. We have a, a very broad network of other agencies and other organizations that we network with, uh, schools, colleges, universities, um, just a real wide range of different places that we do partnership work with. They go out into the public, they go to schools, they go to colleges, they go to the malls. We do all kinds of domestic violence awareness uh, campaigns so that people understand what it is. Kids understand about date rape. Uh, they understand what a good relationship is and what a bad relationship is. And I think that's what we need to have the younger kids learn so that they don't grow up to be abusers or be abused. Our staff is extremely dedicated in what they do. They go the extra mile. They're very creative in finding assistance and help for people who call us and need help. When I came to the Laurel House, I had nothing. Um, my family had pretty much disowned me. Um, my ex-boyfriend had, my ex-husband had burnt my house down. I had no job. I had literally showed up at the Laurel House with a two-year-old son to take care of and a trash bag full of clothes. He had a, a great fear around being alone and also about fire, considering that his abusive father had burned down their apartment. He um, had night terrors. Um, he was just emotionally a mess. And they gave him over two years the most um, emotional support. They got him the best therapy, the best counseling. And people that see my son now um, 
they can't believe he's the same little boy that showed up at the Laurel House five years ago. I'd be dead if Laurel House didn't exist. I would have never lived to see the next day had I not learned of Laurel House and what they do for victims of domestic violence. I can't even imagine how these people would continue to grow in their lives. They would continue to go from one abusive relationship to another with no opportunities for growth and calm and peace in their life to move forward and hopefully again break the generational cycle that we often see in these families. The thing that people are unaware of about Laurel House is that it, it exists, that there's a place for help and um, maybe that's uh, the primary uh, primary outreach to, to these to these abused people and the great effort that the staff puts together uh, um, bringing these bringing these women in and give them an opportunity. Laurel House and the people that we serve really need a new facility for any wide number of reasons for safety reasons for accessibility reasons our current spaces are not easily accessible for anybody with mobility um, concerns or for someone who's just coming out of a hospital because they were just assaulted by their husband or their boyfriend. Um, oftentimes old buildings with lots of stairs and things that are difficult to navigate are really, really a challenge for Laurel House. We need more space, we need more shelter beds, we need more transitional housing, we need more counseling rooms. Many people come to us for community counseling. Our physical structure sometimes hampers our ability to do our jobs to our best ability. I know that for my children's program, the play facilities are not optimal to allowing children to be creative and to feel free to express themselves. They're cramped spaces, they're often dirty, that we have a hard time keeping clean, they're not well organized, and we really would love some more outside space for the children to get some good fresh air and have some physical activity. charitable contribution to Laurel House is an investment in the safety and the health of the people that we serve as well as in the bigger community. Will you please consider contributing to the capital campaign so that we may continue to provide the much needed services that women and children seek us out for? Laurel House has helped me to become a stronger person, um, to be more independent and strong-willed to go on, that if I need something done, I have to do it. Having worked at Laurel House for five years has been a life-changing experience for me. It has opened my eyes to the great need in this world for services for these victims who truly are victims. The person I am now, emotionally, um, I'm just an entirely different person. I've learned so much and I've grown so much from my experience and I have to thank the Laurel House for that. Please join us in supporting the Laurel House Capital Campaign. We want to put an end to domestic violence.